North Korea has announced it's going to expel American soldier Travis King, saying he's confessed to illegally intruding into the country. The 23-year-old private ran across the border from South Korea on July the 18th while on a guided tour. Lawrence Louis joining us now live from Seoul. At the time, this was a controversy, but also a huge embarrassment for the U.S. military. What do we know about the future holding for Travis King? Well, there's not a lot of detail released in the North Korean state media, um, apart from to say that authorities have finished their questioning of King. And according to North Korean state media, King, during an investigation, had confessed that he had willingly crossed into North Korea because he was disillusioned by unequal treatment in U.S. society, and he had experienced racism in the U.S. Army. Now, at the time, um, it was thought that this was a propaganda coup for North Korea, because not only was King a U.S. citizen, but he was also a U.S. soldier, and he had willingly crossed over into North Korea. Now, of course, King's comments could not be independently verified. Um, we've also asked the UN command in South Korea, which oversees the armistice on the Korean Peninsula, and they've said they have no comment with regards to the report by North Korean state media. Now, we know back in August that the Pentagon said that they, their priority is to bring King home and that they're working through all available channels to achieve that outcome. But we have no other detail on why North Korea is choosing to expel King now. And they've held him for a relatively short time, only 71 days. We also don't know when he's going to be expelled or how, but previous U.S. civilians have been put on a flight via Beijing. But because King is a soldier, he could be handed over to the U.S. military um, at the Truce village of Panmunjom at the demilitarized zone. That's the border separating North and South Korea. Florence, thank you very much indeed. That's Florence Louis bringing us up to date from Seoul.